Step one, put your car in neutral and then put the car on jack stands in the front. See, it's as simple as that. And once it's jacked up, you can put the vehicle back in the park and shut it off to save the battery. Go ahead and pop your hood for the top strut bolts for when we get to them. Okay. Ta-da! Ready up to- Heh, <laughs> bust off your wheels next. Heh, <laughs> usually three quarter or 19 millimeter. I like power tools. And now that the wheel magically came off, I'm gonna remove the cutter pin and 17 millimeter nut from the tie rod end. And once the tie rod end nut is off, I like to use a 22 millimeter to get this nut that's attaching the outer tie rod to the inner tie rod. Bust it loose. You should have a box that organizes all the different nuts for every part that you take off in order. See, I have my lug nuts right there. This next one is going to be for the tie rod castle nut. Next, pop out the outer tie rod end. Count how many times that you have to turn the outer tie rod counterclockwise. One. Fourteen. Next, we'll use a 14 millimeter to bust off these nuts for the end link. And to stop the inside from moving while you're turning the nut, I have a 3 16 Allen wrench to put right into the hole. Well, now that I've got that out, I'm going to start working on the lower control arm. We're going to start off with these 17 millimeter bolts that are holding the lower ball joint. It's two bolts and a, I mean, it's a nut and two bolts. And then when we're done with that, we're going to do this 19 millimeter. And we're going to do this 19 millimeter. Hey, don't forget that this end over here has a washer. Well, we moved the lower control arm, but ladies and gentlemen, we have some things in the way. So we'll get back to the lower control arm a little later. Next, we're going to remove that castle nut and the cotter pin for the lower ball joint. Before we take that ball joint out, I just wanted to show you that the nuts from the end links, I just put right back on the end links so that I don't lose them. And the third box is for the lower control arm bolts and nuts. And before we remove that lower ball joint, well, shall we just uh, remove that front strut there? So on the top we have 12 millimeter nuts, and down below we got a 14 millimeter bolt and nut, and we got some 19 millimeter bolts and nuts right there. So why don't we do that first? Okay, so the 14 millimeter bolt actually has the nut fixed on the strut already, so the nut doesn't come off. Well, now that I have the strut out, I went ahead and I jacked up on the lower ball joint here to get this stuff as high up as possible. And I got me a ratchet strap holding this so the ratchet straps connect that there and it is there up there just tight enough to keep it holding. And now that that's holding, we can take the jack and jack stand out and finish removing the lower control. Oh, it almost wants to come out, but we need to take out these fur. And that's a 19 and a 12. And a 14 and a 12. And another 19. Oh, and another 19. And for those 19 millimeter bolts there, let me see what I can do here. Well, I'm going to tell you something. This is how it's going to go. The size of the 19 millimeter bolts are small, bigger, biggest. Oh, and I guess, I guess, I guess, another 14 right there on the other side. This guy right here. So oh boy, in case I didn't tell you, this is the next thing that came out, this torsion bar. It's like right next to the shock here. And 
The rest of the lower control arm bolts are over in box three, but box four has the shock ones. I leave you in the dark to tell you that the torsion bar nuts are also in with the control arm. Box three, box three. Good morning, we go back to the right and we take off this 19 millimeter nut as well. And say goodbye to the lower control arm. And take off the bracket for the sway ball. Back to the lower ball joint. And poof, it magically comes out. Now to work on the inner tie rod, let's start by getting this clamp down. Let's get that 10 millimeter for the shield. Boy, you just bend back the shield over here. And you gotta take off a pinch clamp over on that. Poof, the bellows boot is off. The inner tie rod stuff is box five. Time for left side, yeah, outer tie rod. 17 millimeters for the nut, 10 times for the left side tie rod. Next, we do the end link again. 14 millimeter with 3 16 hex in the insole. Time to remove the shock absorber. There it is, 19 millimeter with a 19 millimeter combo and a 14 and a 12 is what you'll need. The bolts and nuts are in box six. And then we ratchet strap the knuckle. Let's work on the lower control arm. And let's take a good look at how it looks down here since we're taking out both sides. So you got that, and I got that, <laughs> and we got that. Kind of looking like that. And, and then, uh, and then, and yeah. That's the longest bolt. And then, the, the, uh, uh, the, you can't really see it. That's a sad pander. Let's try to try to do that. Okay, so now that would tell you something. Then there's a long bolt right there too. And you know, the, the, this one is pretty short. Yeah, it's kind of a short bolt there, yeah. And also this one right here is a long bolt. And then this one here is a short bolt and it's actually smaller than the other short bolt that's over here. And then that last bolt there that's got the nut attached to it. Uh, I'm trying to find it here. Where the heck is it? Oh, yeah, I left it in the deal over there. So, once that comes out, the whole sway bar comes out. And then there's this one last bolt right here. But on this side, the transmission pan is in the way. So we're going to take a jack and with the block, and we're going to jack up the engine oil pan, and that ought to bring it all up. To I'm just kidding. We're going to take out all these bolts and nuts that are seven mi 17 millimeter for the cross member. So I didn't take this part of the cross member off. So I just loosened up this just enough to where it will come down and I can get that bolt right out now. Next I took the nut and the clamp the, off the inner tie rod. Time to get that last pesky clamp. That's all done and the bellows boot along with the nut and the uh, clippies, the, spr the clamps, they go to box shot. Next we take out the tie rod. <laughs> Got one and I had to use this inner tie rod tool, but it worked. Uh, so I had some stupid zerks on my brand new ball joints and also my outer tie rods, so I had to grease them up. Then, now that I got everything out, I can start putting in stuff, and I'm going to start with the inner tie rods. Torque them down if you don't have a special tool to 61 foot pounds. And don't forget your lock tie. Correction, 40 foot-pounds. And then don't forget to put the boots on with uh, the zip ties and the clamps, you know. Get that nut back on the heat shoe. That was a bolt, not a nut. It's time to do 
the lower ball joints. Just hand snug the top nut for right now, cause we gotta put on some lower control on. Now you get down underneath the car and you get all uh, this stuff for the cross member and the torsion bar and you thread all those bolts in from the biggest to the smallest so that way you know which bolts go where and don't torque them down until you got all of them and I'm tired of torquing so I'm going to iron tighten and I'm at a quarter turn and then I'm gonna zap the bigger bolts, the 17s and 19s, with an impact gun just once, for good measure. We got the ball joints tightened up, and then we also tighten up the end links, and everything's all buttoned together. Now we put back the outer tie rods, and we counted, so this side on the left side, I went in 10 times, and the other side, I did 14 times. Remember kids, the end links are 19 millimeter, no, 17. Those are 17 millimeter. And these are 19 on the bottom of the ball joint here. Yes, and now it's time to put on the struts. Put all the bolts and nuts into place and zap up these guys first to suck it up. And then you can put in the bolt down on the bottom for the brake hole. Remember kids, 13 millimeter for the top bolt. 14 millimeter for the brake line. And 19 millimeter on both sides for the strut. All done. I just made sure that I took the impact gun and did another nice little snuggy wuggy. Two zaps for the 19 millimeters. Two long zaps for the struts. And 17 millimeters get one zap. Went around all of the cross member and I got all those nice and snug. And then the tires go back on. I like to give them a quick zap with the impact wrench before bringing them down. Remember, put your car in neutral before bringing it down. Nice to the transmission. Oh, it brought it down and I like to torque them down to a hundred foot pounds. Well, it looks like it's time to go take her for a little test over to go get an alignment done. What was that? What? I'm just joking. Almost slapped. The end. Warning. Disclaimer. I am not a professional. Nor am I an amateur. I'm kind of in the middle. This is for entertainment purposes only. But I hope it helps you out. And I'm whispering for the vision impaired. It's like fine print. And remember that a jack and ratchets can be extra hands for you when you need them. Okay, thanks.